and then we had this um, mm. dating show when, when the girl said I would rather mm. you know, cry in the backseat of uh, a BMW mm. uh, instead of you know, laughing at the backseat of a bicycle, mm. which was, aroused a lot of social outcry. Mm. How did you evaluate the impact on the BMW brand out of those incidents? The Were they necessarily bad? At the beginning there, there was an impact and the impact is also because of the way at that time we as a company responded. Mm. Naturally you don't have much to do with it be, because your car has been used as a label. That's right. Uh, but still it's the way how you responded and that was also part of the reason coming back to this uh, price adjustment. I needed to have a big bank to open the company to the public, to tell people we are open, we are a friendly uh, brand, we are open to everybody, we are not just stuck in one corner. Mm. We have been talking <coughs> about these ideas and the mm. concepts which are very good, mm. but then could you share with us some of the stories behind those stories? For example, uh, I'm very curious to understand what mm. were some of the, the mistakes mm. that you learned most from? If I can use the example of uh, Baumajur, we came out with this concept in spring 2010. Mm but we tried much earlier. Mm. We tried in 2005 and the years uh, following, but we did not succeed. We failed because we just didn't find the right clue. We tried two times. Uh, we couldn't find the right sort of translation or way to approach this issue of joy. You mean the translation of sheer driving pleasure uh, yeah, to the Chinese? We trying to find something, not just the translation. Mm. Yeah, was used for a long time, but I didn't yeah. really quite, quite like it. It's too shallow or too generic. We kept the English slogan for a long time because I wasn't happy with the Chinese one. Bauma, this manufacturing-automated-vehicle-production company, developed a new slogan. 对于精通中文的史登科来说，“驾驶乐趣”这四个字的翻译，并不能在新的时代下为中国客户凝练出宝马的品牌精髓。Everything we said, everything we do is about people. We sell high-tech products, but what we do, the whole business, is about people. You develop product by people for people to use, and then we say we need to center everything around people. And then finally, we got the clue and came up with Baumann to you. So it's a it's a it's a long, long process where you fail, but in the end, you if you try hard enough, you come up with something. I bet you're also very much aware of the social sentiment which is now developing in this country. For example, there have been some incidents involving a BMW vehicle, some Fu Ai Dai, right? So called Fu Ai Dai was showing off, where they. Get, got themselves into trouble. And we had this um, dating show when, when the girl said I would rather you know, cry in the backseat of uh, a BMW uh, instead of you know, laughing at the backseat of a bicycle, which was, aroused a lot of social outcry. Mm. How did you evaluate the impact on the BMW brand out of those incidents? The Were they necessarily bad? At the beginning there, there was an impact, and the impact is also because of the way at that time we as a company responded. Mm. Naturally, you don't have much to do with it be, because your car has been used as a label. That's right. Uh, but still, it's the way how you responded. And that was also part of the reason coming back to this uh, price adjustment. I needed to have a big bank to open the company to the public, to tell people we are open, we are a friendly uh, brand, we are open to everybody, we are not just stuck in one corner. Mm. That's why I needed this big bank to make everybody aware. Mm. And it has worked in a certain way and we follow up with many other actions to open up the brand, to go to the customer, whether it's customers talk or, or events. We have so many events when we in, uh, invite people and then we get within two weeks 30, 60,000 applications. So mm. this connection with the market, with the customer helps us to get away out of this corner, out of this label. You just can't come in, roll in here and think you know everything. And uh, that's why p many people who were successful in other places, very successful, they come here, continue their old ways, mm. and they fail. Mm. Because they just don't understand this listening. Mm. Yeah, you can't come here and say, I know everything. I mean, if I would go to a place I don't understand the language, I, I would be pretty ineffective. Mm -hmm. So you need to understand first, and you need to rely on people that know better. And that's why I relied so much on my local colleagues. 
because they, they know much better than me. Mm. They tell me, hey, don't go this way, you better be careful here. Mm. 